So now I'm going to talk um, a little bit about um, how recruitment has been affected by the 70k decision. So immediately after um, the decision was made, um, two employees um, did in fact um, quit because they thought it was unfair um, that this, this decision um, was made. Um, but in the week following um, the two people quitting, um, Gravity Payments actually received 4,500 applications and resumes um, for them to vacant positions. Um, to put this into perspective, um, Gravity Payments it usually expects between four, um, three to 400 resumes for any um, job that is posted. Um, so they actually um, received um, an increase of a thousand percent in um, resumes um, for the two vacant positions in just a week after um, the 70k um, decision was made. Um, amongst these resumes um, was one from um, a woman named Tammy Kroll, who is a, 70, um, is a 52 year old um, high powered Yahoo executive. Um, she was quoted saying, I spent many years chasing money and now I'm looking for something fun and meaningful. She was inspired by Dan Price's decision um, to increase the minimum wage to $70,000. And in fact, she quit her job at Yahoo in September 2015 and started working at Gravity Payments and took an 80 to 85 um, pay decrease. This trend has continued in the weeks, months, and years following the decision in 2015. In fact, Gravity Payments has em employed 50 um, new people at the organization, having received over 30,000 resumes. Um, for these for these jobs, to put that into perspective, um, for 50 jobs they would usually receive between 15,000 to 20,000 resumes um, for those jobs, and in fact they receive 30,000, which shows sort of the increase in popularity and desirability to work at Gravity Payments. Um, in addition, they have 16 jobs currently posted on their website, and um, these range from roles as a senior development engineer, free account representative positions merchant relations representatives and 11 sales representative positions located in cities all over um, the United States. Um, when you take into consideration these facts and figures and statistics, um, I believe that you can only conclude that this can have positive effects for the company. By looking into more detail um, at the attraction, selection and attrition model, um, which basically suggests that a recruitment process refines and strengthens an organization's culture over time. Um, this can only have positive effects for the company. Um, the attraction suggests that um, employees are attracted to um, roles that um, and self-select companies that, that have similar core values to themselves. Um, selection is where a company selects um, individuals who again have similar core values to the organization and um, attrition is basically um, where employees will naturally leave an organization if they do not fit um, the culture of the organization. So over time um, this means that um, Gravity Payments will be employing um, individuals who are better suited for the company and better qualified and therefore can only have positive effects for the company. Okay, so we talked shortly about um, how many resumes um, Gravity Payments received shortly after the announcement, and let's really talk about how many of those are actually sticking around now since the 70K decision. And as Charlie mentioned before, there were two employees that quit right away, and one can imagine the negative emotions that one would feel um, after this, such a decision, and you know they would feel this anger or this discontent um, with their other colleagues who they feel don't don't work as hard as they do or aren't as efficient as they are and now they're getting equal pay as them. Um, so yes, this did cause the, the initial um, um, quitting of, of those two employees. But in the long run, as you can see from the graph here, the, re, uh, you know, the retention rate at, at gravity payments is at an all-time high. Um, it's never, in fact, it's, it's at a record low of how many people are, are leaving the job once they, once, they, once they start. And this is due to many different reasons, um, one of which is the workforce happiness. 
is consistently on the rise there. Since the 70K decision, employees are now able to use their additional funds to move closer to work um, and have a shorter commute to work, allowing for more time with family, uh, more personal time, and time to do other things than sitting in traffic for an hour, hour and a half, and then being miserable by the time you get home. Um, and other things that are that are happening within the office are a baby boom, um, where employees are now feeling more confident with, with the amount of money that they're making to start a family and, and settling down. And this is giving this, them some sort of stability and a reason to stay with the company uh, for a longer period of time. Um, also, what's been affected by the $70,000 decision is the customer retention. Um, it's increased from 91% to 95%. Now, um, just like the two employees that quit at the, at the beginning, there was a similar situation where a few of their existing customers left due to um, uh, political pressure, due to pressure of them feeling that they needed to uh, do something similar um, and increasing their rates for their employees. And they just didn't agree with, with Dan Price's decision, so they, they backed out. But the good news for gravity payments is for every two customers that left, they got four more. Um, later down the road. Um, so all in all, I would say that this has done nothing but increased um, not, not just the workforce uh, retention and happiness, but also the, the customer retention and happiness as well. So I'll be speaking on organizational commitment. First I'll begin by defining it and how we're going to characterize it. So organizational commitment is a degree or the relative strength of, of an individual's identification and involvement with an organization. Um, there are three characterizing factors. One is the strong belief and acceptance of an organization's goals and values. Another is willingness to exert considerable effort on behalf of the organization. And three is a strong desire to maintain membership in that organization. To quantify this, um, you would conduct an organizational commitment questionnaire. However, without being able to gather information from every employee and then quantifying it, we'll take artifacts, um, quantitative and qualitative, and other things that my colleagues have mentioned. So to begin with, I'll be talking about the quantitative measures. Um, so as I mentioned, there were two employees that departed because of the 70K decision. However, the year following that announce the public announcement, employee turnover dropped to 19%, which is less than the average of the past six years. And that implies that there is more cohesion among the remaining employees because they better match the goals and the beliefs that the organization has. Um, another quantitative respect that was not accounted for financially is that 50 out of 30,000 submitted resumes were accepted as employees. So what this insinuates is that Dan Price, the CEO, had a broader pool of prospective employees and he was able to select those that were a match with the values and the goals again of the organization. So moving on, we're going to speak on qualitative facts. Um, the first and most blatant one is the Gravity of 70K which is a website in which the employees share their testimonials, produce videos, um, share their stories again. So from the employee testimonials, the fact that these employees were willing to put their faces out there despite of the controversy that sur and the negative media representations of Dan Price and what he was doing with the company, the people could have avoided controversy to themselves by remaining anonymous. However, the employees decided to put their names and their faces out there, which shows that they're willing to exert considerable effort on behalf of the organization, and not only the organization, but also Dan Price. Um, throughout the video, they speak of Dan on a first name basis. So this has a lot to do with organization commitment and power distance. For one, power distance is very low in gravity payments. Dan is a type of CEO to sit among his employees and make, some, make himself accessible, as shared in one of the testimonials. An employee shared that Dan had sent them emails when all the media started coming around and kept them updated. Um, in addition to that, they referred to Dan Price as Dan on a first name basis. So 
there's another aspect that was aforementioned earlier where Dan said that if you take care of your employees, they'll take care of your customers. However, they went, the employees of Gravity Payments went above and beyond and took care of the false representations they thought were being put of out there of Gravity Payments and of Dan. So to bring the qualitative and quantitative artifacts together, we have five testimonials gathered from the Gravity of 70K website. We have Jose, Cody, Alyssa, Nadellis, Tammy, and Aaron. So Jose, Cody, Alyssa, Nadellis, and Aaron were former employees and they share their stories and how Dan went out of their way to help them so they go out of their way to help Dan and Gravity Payments. Tammy, as Charlie mentioned earlier, is, was a um, part of Yahoo's leadership team and she was so inspired by what Gravity Payments was doing that she took an 80% pay cut and relocated with her family. So this attests to the fact that there is willingness to exert considerable effort on behalf of the organization. There's a strong desire to maintain membership and on behalf of the organization and all the employees that are being accepted as employees that remain share strong values and goals with Gravity Payments. So as you can see, looking at the four aspects that we've talked about today, productivity, recruitment, retention, organizational commitment, um, Gravity Payments 70K decision has had a positive impact on all four. And understandably, this is you know a, a short scope of what we're looking at here of only five years, and it is something that we would love to keep track of and, and see how it plays out uh, further in the future. But as a group, uh, now we all conclude that this has been a uh, positive experiment with the company and, and something that we believe will be positive um, in the long run. So thank you for your time um, and thank you for listening.